we are one week away from vacation time and uh, we just got our trailer back. We got it uh, back from service. We had the awning replaced because that was getting all flaky and messed up and we got the slide out adjustment. But today we are a doing this video, a do it yourself video. We want to fit our kayaks in the back of our truck here. So what we're going to do is make my brother and I each have a kayak. They are 10 feet and we want to be able to put stuff inside the bed and carry our kayaks. So 10 feet, I think they come out to about here. So we have enough turning radius if we put the kayaks in the bed. We'll have enough turning radius and it won't hit the trailer. We've carried them before, but we want to put extra stuff in the back of the bed and carry our kayaks on top. So today we are going to build a rack that we can do both with. There's our lumber, there's our kayaks. We already measured the distance, um, the width of the two kayaks just sitting like that and they will fit in the bed so we can fit them pretty nicely right above the bed. Everything laid out nice that we got. The straps, six D hooks. Uh, these are some hooks that are gonna go under the rack for our fishing poles and P uh, we had some PVC pipe that we have left over from some other projects that we're gonna use. Uh, these are the bolts. Then these are the screws for the braces after we do our cuts. And minus this chain, this is the chain we got for other stuff to secure our generator. And then uh, got this. And here's the pieces of two by four that we got, three pieces. All right, here's how it's going on in the front. So we've made our l shape bracket. We have support there. And we have a recessed bolt in there. It slides in this hole. And we have a identical one on that side. Then I think we are going to put a board on top or right across on this side and put another bolt either here or down into this one and have it go across. As far as the back goes, I cut two of these. Uh, we're gonna do it taller in the back. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be the height yet. We might take it down a little bit, but we have a matching one on that side and this side. So pretty much the same as the front, but unlike the front, this one's just gonna go straight across. We just need to do a 90 degree angle here and it's gonna cut straight across. It has taken us probably about three hours. The sun has set, but this is where we're at. Got everything bolted down. Got the back, the screws recessed there. We might take this down a little bit and trim it because the kayak is gonna, you know, be up there. But um, I don't know, I don't think it's really gonna matter. And then this is the front, all complete. All right, time to set a kayak on it. And this is all the extra wood we have here, so we did pretty good. Um, just made one bad cut that I made. So this is where we're at. We're gonna mount the kayaks to see where we need our D-rings. All right, this is how they look. Have them both sitting on there. We have plenty of room in the bed. Still open this up and get underneath it. We have these left, these D-rings that we are going to put on each side of the kayak. And then we're going to run a strap, a tie down, and then wrap around the kayak so they don't move and 
As far as for the front, we have a foam pad, like a two inch foam pad that we are gonna put here. So in case they do move and try to hit that glass, they're gonna be protected somewhat. Change of plans. Upside down is better. My brother's a little bit taller on the back, so still going to use the foam. On my side, mine won't even hit the glass anymore. It'll hit the cab, but uh, still put the foam there. But uh, I think it's better upside down. Here is the end product after the beautification process. We just rattle can these black uh, so they'll just be less discreet on the truck. And my brother went ahead and put some foam pads where the kayaks will rest. Um, they're just uh, use a hot glue gun to put those on there. So uh, overall, happy with how it came out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.